What's up guys, kaise ho aap log? Welcome to the 23 Rides channel. Uh, recently, as you know, I bought a new adventure touring motorcycle. A lighter adventure touring motorcycle, if I may call it. And while making this purchase, there were two options that I was totally confused between. One was the Adventure 390 from KTM and the other was the BMW 310GS. And it almost took me about three months to make up my mind which motorcycle I should go with. Uh, while making that uh, decision about the motorcycle I need, I actually evaluated both these motorcycles on the basis of 11 points. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you those 11 points that I think you should also take a look at if you are making a decision between the Adventure 390 from KTM and the BMW 310GS. So let's get started with the video. So let's start with the first point. The first point is the riding position. Both the bikes are super comfortable. Uh, they are meant for touring but uh, if I look at the proper riding geometry of both the motorcycles uh, I think the GS310 has a better riding geometry what I mean by that is if you are sitting and doing long hours on the road then both the bikes will be same but if you look at the proper ADV uh, riding geometry that allows a comfortable seating position and a comfortable standing position that is where the GS310 really scores uh, in the ADV 390 for example uh, without the 2 inch handlebar risers you're, you are always very front biased in this motorcycle I have put in 2 inch handlebar risers after that my position is like this I can't stand like this completely straight like I used to do on my Tiger GS310 you can definitely attain this position because of the high handlebars not on the ADV 390 another point to consider is the position of the foot pegs on the GS310 the foot pegs are neutral uh, they are right below you in the ADV 390 they are a little rear set and to top it all in the ADV 390 you have the foot pegs slightly uh, you know slanted forwards that also contributes to you always bending forwards when you are saddling so so what I feel is these two things the handlebar uh, height and the slant in the foot pegs really spoil the riding geometry of the ADV 390 so you have to make some adjustments to make the riding geometry perfect from an ADV standpoint on the ADV 390 GS310 comes perfect it's just perfect for saddling and sitting and to top it all the seat is also much more comfortable on the GS310 also since we are talking about the riding geometry as a whole I also need to mention about the seat height the seat height on the KTM Adventure 390 is 850 mm which I think is which I believe is almost 10 mm taller than the Tiger 800 XCA that I used to have so you can very well judge that but the low the narrower profile of the seat is really helpful in helping you flat foot the motorcycle for reference I am six feet tall I am able to flat foot the motorcycle uh, pretty easily as you can see but for shorter riders this is gonna be an issue GS310 the seat is much lower much more friendlier for shorter riders so net net if I have to talk about riding geometry and give points I will give all the points to the GS310 so now let's talk about the power delivery which is the second point uh, that I considered and this was a major thing for me the Adventure 390 offers almost 42 bhp of power while the GS310 offers just about 32 bhp of power that's a huge difference and this is something that really swung things in the favor of the ADV 390 for me this machine on the highway is a hoot it can clock 140 150 very easily but the GS310 I felt really runs out of gas after 100 kmph. People say that it goes to 120 and also touches a top speed of 140. But in my opinion, uh, touching those speeds with all the vibrations coming on the handlebar and you are feeling that the engine is completely strained at the high speeds. This is not what I call high speed riding. But at the same time, if we talk about how the power is spread out throughout the torque band, uh, the two motorcycles are totally different. The Adventure 390 I would has an amazing mid-range and an amazing top end, but the low end is weak. Again, that is something that you need to maybe uh, modify on the motorcycle by changing the sprocket side or doing some other modifications. But the GS310 has a very good low end 
देर आर नो स्टॉलिंग इशूज इन द जी एस थ्री टेन फर्स्ट गेयर सेकेंड गेयर क्रॉलिंग स्पीड आर वेरी वेरी ईजी टू मेनटेन इफ यू आर डूइंग प्रॉपर ऑफ रोडिंग मिड रेंज इज ऑल्सो फाइन बट आई फील द टॉप एंड इज वेरी वेरी म्यूटेड ऑन द जी एस थ्री टेन आई डेंट लाइक इट एंड टू टॉप इट ऑल इट फेल्ट लाइक अ स्कूटर आफ्टर हंड्रेड एंड टेन के एम पी एच सो फ्रॉम अ पार स्टैंड पॉइंट फ्रॉम अ पार डिलीवरी स्टैंड पॉइंट माई मार्क्स वुड गो टू द एडवेंचर थ्री नाइनटी ओके सो द थर्ड पॉइंट दैट आई कंसिडर्ड वॉज द लॉन्ग टर्म इंटरेस्ट इन ईदर ऑफ दीज मोटरसाइकिल्स फॉर अ मोटरसाइकिल टू बी रेलिवेंट फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री और फोर ईयर्स आई फेल्ट अ मोटरसाइकिल दैट ऑफर्स मोर टेक वुड बी रियली समथिंग दैट आई वुड इन्जॉय आई पर्सनली वॉज वॉन्टिंग टू गेट अ मोटरसाइकिल विच हैज अ टी एफ टी डिस्प्ले लुक्स वेरी मॉडर्न एंड हैज अ लॉट ऑफ फीचर्स दैट कीप यू इंटरेस्टेड दैट इज समथिंग वेयर द ए डी वी थ्री नाइनटी फ्रॉम के टी एम रियली शाइन्स ऑन द अदर हैंड द बी एम डब्ल्यू जी एस थ्री टेन लुक्स लाइक अ रिप्ड ऑफ वर्जन ऑफ द फुली लोडेड बी एम डब्ल्यू मोटरसाइकिल्स दैट आर ऑलमोस्ट लाइक टेन प्लस लैक्स इन द मार्केट टू स्टार्ट विद राइट सो द जी एस थ्री टेन फेल्ट लाइक अ वेरी ओल्ड मोटरसाइकिल आई रियली वॉन्ट द जी एस थ्री टेन टू हैव द अपग्रेड ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट डिस्प्ले इट शुड गेट अ टी एफ टी डिस्प्ले एटलीस्ट सिमिलर टू वॉट द जी थ्री टेन आर आर हैज गॉट फ्रॉम द अपाचे साइड बट देर आर नो साइंस ऑफ दैट कमिंग एंड द ब्लैक एंड वाइट सिंपल डिस्प्ले ऑन द जी एस थ्री टेन फेल्ट वेरी वेरी बोरिंग टू मी सो दैट्स वाई आई थिंक इफ यू वॉन्ट अ मोटरसाइकिल दैट हैज अ मॉडर्न फील टू इट एंड इज वेरी इंजॉयबल देन द ए डी बी थ्री नाइनटी इज द वे टू गो नेक्स्ट अप लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द विंड प्रोटेक्शन विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑन एडवेंचर टोरिंग मोटरसाइकिल्स बिकॉज द मिडल वर्ल्ड इज टोरिंग वाइल एडवेंचर इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू ऑल ऑफ अस एंड वाइल टोरिंग वाइल द सीटिंग पॉस्चर्स आर आई वुड से एट पार विद इच अदर द विंड बफिटिंग प्रोटेक्शन दैट इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई द स्टॉक विंड स्क्रीन ऑन बोथ द मोटरसाइकिल्स इज वेरी एवरेज सो दिस इज वेयर बोथ द मोटरसाइकिल्स कुड हैव डन अ बेटर जॉब बट एट द सेम टाइम आई थिंक इवन द प्रीमियम मोटरसाइकिल्स नीड एन आफ्टर मार्केट विंड शील्ड हेंस आई फील बोथ दीज मोटरसाइकिल्स आर ऑफरिंग एवरेज विंड प्रोटेक्शन ऑल दो इट्स सीम्स वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग बट द विंड डायरेक्टली हिट्स मी एट द चेस्ट एरिया एंड वाइल आई एम क्रिएटिंग वीडियोज फॉर यू गाइज मोटो ब्लॉगिंग द हेलमेट फील्स लाइक एन एयर बबल विद विंड गशिंग इन फ्रॉम ऑल साइड सो बोथ द मोटरसाइकिल्स आई फील वुड नीड एन आफ्टर मार्केट विंड शील्ड एंड दैट इज समथिंग दैट वील डिस्कस लेटर इन वन ऑफ द अदर वीडियोज सो सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द एलिफेंट इन द रूम एंड दिस इज फॉर मी वन ऑफ द मेजर फैक्टर द बिगेस्ट डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू मोटरसाइकिल्स द सस्पेंशन द सस्पेंशन ऑन द ए डी वी थ्री नाइनटी इज branded as the wp suspension which has a great lineage and everybody thinks wp is great but wp suspension is great on uh, i would say premium motorcycles actually the suspension on the adv 390 is made by an indian company called uh, enduro something like that i don't remember that name and it is rebranded as wp net net the suspension on this motorcycle is very very stiff from what i have experienced so far the front end is bearable but the rear end does not have even an inch of rebound now after riding it for almost uh, maybe like 800 900 kilometers over the last few weeks i have made a small change on the rear suspension by changing the setting and softening it by one click now it is a little bearable but if you compare it to what gs offers the gs suspension is super awesome long travel suspension looks amazing with those golden forks and is very very comfortable off road and all the adulations even on highways when you are touring at fast speeds they feel like a carpet so that is one area that i would give the gs310 all the possible points if we are talking about suspension being said there are multiple options to alter the suspension on the adv390 there is a aftermarket suspension that is being offered by a company called as zedling i think they are based out of bangalore and multiple cities as well so but that suspension costs the new complete rear suspension costs almost 18 19000 rupees then there are other local manufacturers who are also creating suspensions for the adv390 which is like 13 14000 and some people even tell me that the expel suspension is a direct fit on the adv390 but all those things are modifications that no person would want to make on a brand new motorcycle that's why i feel that the gs310 with the long travel suspension is top 
notch in terms of the comfort that it offers on road and off road so now let's talk about the on road capability of these two motorcycles on road i feel there is absolutely no comparison the adv 390 shines all the way 42 bhp of power this thing loves being in triple digit speeds you can cruise on this machine at a speed of 130 140 kmph all day long and this is not going to break a sweat uh, from a nimbleness standpoint this feels so light the stock uh, configuration in which the handlebar comes on the adventure 390 this thing handles like an arrow you just think about taking a right and this machine will go there even before you execute that turn so it is super sharp handler uh, after installing the two inch handlebar risers on the machine i have compromised a little bit on the handling but then my focus is more on touring and a little bit of off roads uh, comparing to the gs310 i feel at 70 80 90 kmph it's an awesome machine to ride i personally didn't like the overall experience riding it on road but people have ridden that machine uh, to all ends of our country and apart from that uh, this motorcycle feels a lot more lighter. I'm not sure what is the exact kg difference between the weight of the motorcycles, but I would say this feels while riding a lot more nimbler and lighter. So in short, on road, I will give all the marks to the KTM. The real difference between these two motorcycles in their stock configuration comes off-road and that is where the GS310 really shines. I already talked about the suspension on the GS310 that is something that is very very comfortable in the stock configuration but my major gripe with the BMW GS310 is the lack of tech on the motorcycle. When you are wanting to do serious off-roading uh, then you need options to play with the ABS settings, the traction control and all other electronics on the motorcycle that is something that the GS310 does not even offer the KTM Adventure 390 would give you options to adjust the ABS on road off road adjust the traction control switch off things completely and play with the motorcycle and that is why I feel with certain modification the Adventure 390 will be a much more fun motorcycle for off roads provided you make some changes to the suspension or get your butt used to the stiff suspension of this motorcycle. So next up let's talk about which of these motorcycles will you enjoy most if you are riding the twisties in the mountains. I think that's a no-brainer. The KTM is a corner cover, a great handler and this is something that would really get your adrenaline pumping if you're riding hard on the twisties. The exhaust note also is much more sweeter on the KTM although both the motorcycles have a very very simple exhaust note but at higher revs the Adventure 390 exhaust note sounds much more satisfying. So you can check out other exhaust note videos on YouTube or check out one of my videos where I have shown you the exhaust note but I felt that the GS310 exhaust note at high speeds it felt like a, that I was riding a scooty. This one still feels like a powerful single cylinder and that's why I feel from a corner carving standpoint the Adventure 390 is the way to go. You will have fun on this motorcycle while riding in the mountain. Now most of us want to ride our motorcycles on the highway but we sometimes have to ride our motorcycle in the city as well and for a motorcycle of this category we end up riding it in the city much more. So I feel uh, for city riding the GS310 feels a lot better because it doesn't heat up as much as the Adventure 390 simply because of the fact that the Adventure 390 has a high compression engine and this you know starts heating up uh, although with the new improved radiator design the two radiator fans that are there this tries to cool things down but the GS310 is far more relaxed while riding in the city but while heating is one part of the story but at the same time if you want to ride in the city aggressively I'm not talking about like a chapri if you want to cut corners and go right left fast then the Adventure 390 with its far more better handling sharper handling capabilities is Fun. so there is a compromise to make heating versus handling and generally I felt that the GS310 feels very good on the city better than the ADV 390 so when you own a motorcycle another factor that you need to think about is the service center reach and 
and cost of services and that is where the KTM wins hands down. KTM has loads of service centers across the country. As an example, since I recently moved to a place in the mountains somewhere near the Kullu city, uh, one of my major uh, criteria of choosing between the motorcycles was which motorcycle has a service center nearby and KTM has a service center here somewhere in Bhuntar. While for BMW, uh, the nearest service center for me right now is in Chandigarh which is like a 6-7 hour ride from here. Uh, that is the case true across the country. BMW has much lesser service centers compared to the KTM and this is something that you must consider depending on where you live. Apart from that, the service costs are I would say a little higher in BMW because I say little higher because there is a reason to it. Uh, the GS requires service every 10,000 kilometers while the Adventure 390 requires service something between 6,000 to 7,000 kilometers. If you are doing a lot of riding throughout the year and if you talk about two services then the Adventure 390 service would be around same, say in the range of about 7,000, 8,000 rupees for two services but for the GS 310 a single service would cost something around 8 to 9,000 rupees. So uh, it's a it's a it's I think it's a matter of perception uh, about service costs but when you talk about the cost of parts of a motorcycle then the BMW will be much more costlier to maintain because anything from BMW anything breaks down on the motorcycle a new part will be costing you a bomb compared to the KTM and finally let's talk about the last point and that is value for money uh, this is subjective uh, because more because both these motorcycles are operating almost at the same price point just a 20,000 difference between the ex-showroom pricing so uh, if you are a rider who wants a motorcycle that can do it all and by do it all I mean a motorcycle that can do good off-roads at the same time it can cruise on the highway at high triple digit speeds then the Adventure 390 I feel offers great value for money but if you are somebody who would want to ride a motorcycle primarily off-road and on-road below 90 kmph not more than that not more than 100 kmph in any case then the BMW 310 GS would be much more suited to you simply because of the other benefits that it offers in terms of better suspension greater riding better riding geometry so it's a matter of choices that you have to make personally for me I feel with the tech that is loaded in the Adventure 390 with the power that it offers with the flexibility that it offers this is a better value for money proposition so guys those were the 11 points that I wanted to share with you that you should actually consider if you are making a choice between the KTM Adventure 390 and the BMW 310 GS these were the points that I personally considered and all the opinions that I shared in this video are from my personal experiences so uh, don't bash me for choosing one motorcycle over the other but make your choices depending on at least these 11 criteria that I looked at before making the purchase if you if you found this information useful you have the comment section to share your feedback and stay connected on this channel much more great content coming up bye bye